Hello, this is Atsushi and this is the Sashiko stories. Alright, so up till today, up till I have made about three or four Sashiko stories so far, and in those Sashiko stories I was probably reading script like this. Like, you know, Sashiko is blah blah blah. And I am the Sashiko artisan, so I do Sashiko stitching, and my goal is to share what kind of sashiko we practice however making one video every few months with writing a script taking uh, like 50 sh shots 50 takes and make one video is a little bit time consuming and it's probably too slow to catch up with the spread of the sashiko trend so i decided to challenge this is my challenge. I will not edit. I will talk to the camera. I will share my understanding of Sashiko and also Japanese culture. So, Sashiko. You may have heard of this word. Um, it is it is the Japanese word Sashiko. And sashi means a small, I mean sorry, sashi means a stub, like stitch, and ko means a child. So it's like a stitch, stitching children's, I think it's like a stitching child. But the point I would like to share today is that it is Japanese word. Um, therefore, there is a huge, there is a very strong connection between the sashiko and Japanese culture. Um, I will not be. I will not be offended if you call your stitching sashiko with understanding, with trying to understand what the Japanese culture is like. However, um, it is a little bit uncomfortable to see a sashiko pieces without any sense, feel, taste, or respect to the Japanese culture. The hand stitching culture exists every single cities, towns, um, continent, anywhere, like people stitched, hand stitched a few hundred years ago before the, in the industrial revolution kicked in. So I am not going to say, I'm not nowhere, I'm nowhere saying that Sashiko is very unique in hand stitching. It is not unique at all. However, Japanese word Sashiko is hugely related to the Japanese culture and I think it is my responsibility, it is our responsibility as Japanese to introduce what the Japanese culture is like. So I was going to do it little by little by making sashiko stories, but if I make like five sashiko stories every year, that might be a little too slow. So this is again, this is the sashiko stories challenge. I don't know how many stories I can share, but... I believe I can make much many, much more, hmm? much, like many more Sashiko stories by not editing or writing a script. So I may not be able to answer your question. I have a platform, Patreon, Patreon where I will answer the questions. But uh, please leave the, please leave the comments here with the questions if you have any specific um, questions or requests to cover. I will talk about what is the Japanese culture is like to me and asking the other Japanese friends who also practice sashiko uh, what is the Japanese culture for them. By the way, by the way, <clears throat> this is like a small story, small talks, but do you, have you ever heard that a Japanese apologize a lot? We do, we do very much apologize in many many occasions, like we say suimasen or gomen nasai in many many cases and that translate to the English word or sentence I'm sorry and probably you have met many Japanese who keep saying I am sorry over times so, let's say if I have to go through the shopping cart where people are shopping um, many people say excuse me but for some reason I say I am sorry so do you think that we actually feel apologetic about that I'm going through that? No. 
yes and no, but the reality is actually no. We really don't feel so sorry for this uh, going through the shopping cart. It's more like the figure of speech. Um, it's probably the equivalent of oops or oh my god. I'm sorry, the cat is talking. So it is not something we communicate, but there is a reason. There's a reason we keep saying I am sorry every time we get something. I even say I'm sorry for getting the spoon for this um for the dish. <laughs> I don't know. I just cannot change that because it is culture. It is my mindset. It is my philosophy from Japanese culture. Those culture is hugely very much related to the Japanese I'm sorry, those Japanese culture is very much related to the sashiko stitching itself as well. So this is the video, this is the story of Japanese culture which can enrich your sashiko stitching. Whew! I hope this made sense. Again, I feel very uncomfortable because it is not my strength to do the public speak, ah, public speech in my second language. And but this is something probably I gotta try. And I hope, I hope and I promise I will get better every time I try this. Alright, I will see you in the next Sashiko story. Bye. Bye bye.